Mr. Dougie Fresh. Yes, 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 my son. Yes, yes. You are live in the mind of mad.com. What's going on, man? So you said you're on your way to the VMAs? New York is crazy right now, huh? New York is on fire. VMAs is on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> Where they take it higher. You know what I'm saying? And uh only thing missing, man, is Michael Mad, but I'm like a lot of people, I don't think they understand how close me and you are, man. I don't even, I don't even book a suit in Miami unless I'm coming to see Michael Mad, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real, real conversation. Michael Mad is the last one standing. That's my man. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? We have fun. We make money together. We enjoy good times. That's exactly what it's all about, man. We don't believe, we don't believe how tight me and Michael Mad is. We don't have a problem, baby, because this year we're going to get so much money. It's going to be unbelievable. That's right. Like, so it's crazy because at least my relationship with you is so bananas. Because, like, when I was younger, man, I, I kind of came up and I started doing the beatbox thing. And I would do it so much that even to this day when I do it around my parents, they almost cringe because it would drive them crazy. I'd be in the back of the car as a little kid going, <laughs> doing all that crap. But for hours and hours and hours to the point where it's like it was never no silence, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, I started coming up and doing my events or whatever. And we had our first interaction and we just kind of hit it off. And I remember that day. After the party, I got on the phone with my pop, and I was like, yo, you're never gonna believe who I just became friends with, right? And now, you gotta understand, my parents, I had flown them in to Miami, I had done events with Diddy, and I had done this, and I had done that, but you, I had to get on the phone with my family, and be like, yo, I am officially friends with the legendary Dougie Fresh. And that was like, that was a big turning point. I had no idea the extent of a mentor and a friend and I consider you family at this point that you were going to become over the years to come but you have definitely you know captured that position in my world and my life man I love chopping it up with you we have some really really cool stories actually I want to get into maybe one or two real quick because I know you got to run but let's get into like one or two stories that only me and you would just vibe about. Like, like I want to know what's one of the best parties you've ever been to. Man, I'm going to tell you, man. We have done so many parties, man, together. But I'd have to say that I think that one night when we hang out at the, uh, at the room, well, the last one, I'll tell you what was hot, was when we was over there at the um, Shore Club. Okay, okay. Rocking in the daytime, and we went out there, and we rocked with all the DJs from around the country. Yeah. And you introduced me to Eclipse. It turned out to be a really, really great guy, and an incredible guy when it came to the beatbox, but what he was contributing to it, that was incredible. And then from that point, when we went and we did the after party, and we went into the- In the uh, red room, in the red room at the Shore Club. Oh yeah, in the red room, just rocked all night long. And that joint was sexy, and that was something to remember because it was really, to me, it was really like a special night, a very special evening because we, uh, you know, we did a lot of different things, we worked with a lot of different DJs, there was a lot of love in the room, there was no negative energy, yeah, yeah. it was positive. See, and, and me personally, memories like that last forever for me because um, I'm all about that positive energy, but outside of that one, you know, I mean, we've had so many where later on in the night we wind up hanging out over at one of the strip spots. You know, the last one when Luke came over there, <laughs> that new spot, and he came in there, and he was rocking with us. And, yeah. You know, I mean, we have so many variations of, of memories from the last one when we did uh, uh, the last club live. And we was over there. Oh, for the, for the 944 party. Yeah, yeah, we did that for 944 magazine. That was a lot of fun, man. Crystal Waters and Pitbull. That was crazy. Right, so to me, all of them have their own unique twist to them. But the one continuous link between them all is that it's all about the celebration and it's all about fun. And it's all with my man, Michael Mann.